Hi there. This is spiritual psychic Cynthia Killian here today, and welcome. Welcome to today's video on my Psychic Cynthia channel. And today I just want to talk a moment about astrology readings. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I get asked frequently by students and clients and uh, people that I meet uh, in my spiritual, psychic, and astrological dealings. I get asked um, often by people who are, are curious about the readings that I do or even the readings that other psychics do, other kinds of readers, I should say. And uh, one of the questions I get asked is, which kind of reading should I get? Now, I want you to know there's no quick answer to that because it really does depend on your situation. And I mean, certainly if you're needing a crisis management reading, as I call it, you might need a different kind of reading. Um, you know, if you're just getting help to deal with your problems, I mean, for example, you might want to get a spiritual psychic reading. Uh, if you enjoy hearing channel guidance from your guides, you also might want to get a spiritual psychic reading. Um, and just let me know ahead of time that you want a little channeling with that and we'll give it a try uh, because the guides are usually very eager to speak. But let's just say you're someone who is curious and, you know, has never had a reading before or let's take it even further. If someone were to ask me, Cynthia, I can only have one reading in this life. So if you could only have one reading ever with anybody, in your whole life, what kind of reading would I recommend? And I don't mean just among the ones that I offer. I mean, I offer several, but I'm sure there are kinds that I don't do as well. But what kind of reading would I recommend? I mean, if I personally could only have one reading in my life, and Lord knows I've had way more than one reading done for myself. Um, but if I could only have one, if I had to pick, then what is the kind of reading that I would choose? And I want you to know that hands down, the kind of reading that I would choose, if I could only have just one, would be an astrological reading. And specifically, I would want an astrological reading about my own natal chart and about my soul's purpose here, my life program, why I am here, what makes me tick as a soul, those kinds of things. That is the one reading I would have to have if I could only have one and I, you know, that's it. That's all I was allowed. I, I would say that is the one reading. And, and I would also say the same thing to you. I mean, if you know that you're only going to have one reading or you're just getting started having readings, then a good place to start is with what I call a life program astrology reading. Now, not all astrologers call it that. They might just call it the birth chart reading. And, you know, I practice Western astrologer, astrology, which is what many of my viewers are familiar with. But there's also Vedic astrology, and I think either is wonderful, okay? <laughs> uh, they're, they're two beautiful systems that are related but different. Um, and I don't know much about the Vedic, so don't ask me questions about that because I'm, I'm not an expert. I haven't spent 30 you know, more year, or more years studying Vedic astrology. Um, but my point here is that your birth map is everything, okay? And you might be having problems. And yes, you know, it's good to get readings to help yourself to deal with that so that you can get insights and understandings about the situations, um, about the energies that are flowing, about the other people involved. Um, those kinds of readings can be so helpful and definitely at the time I'm filming this video are the majority of the kinds of readings I do. Um, but for those who, who really want to uh, tap into something higher, the, the life program astrology reading is the best. Because what, what happens when you look at your birth chart, and especially if you have a very talented astrologer, one who can synthesize and put things together for you. Um, when you look at that whole map and you can see the larger patterns, you can see, for example, your karmic strengths and your weaknesses, what you are here to, to experience, to give, to enjoy, 
what you might be here to learn or remember. Um, what drives you? What you're motivated by? I mean, do you know that we're all motivated by different things? And knowing what you're motivated for from what you really value as a soul can be very helpful. It can help you understand how to get motivated, for example. Um, so there, there is a lot in that birth map, and you would be amazed if you have never had a life program guiding star, a, a in-depth natal chart reading by a competent astrologer. If you have never had that, that is something I feel you should get. Whether you get that with me or with someone else. I mean, of course I want you to get it with me if you can. Uh, but there are other gifted astrologers out there. And it's just a matter of syncing up with that person who you feel a connection with, okay? Um, but get it done. Don't hesitate. If that's, you know, if coming to your full potential is, is of something of interest to you, or even if you have just a cert, certain recurring issue in your life that plagues you. I mean, if you have money issues, okay, for example, and that's been going on a long time, or family issues that have been going on a long time, or even health issues or things of that nature, all of that can be benefited by the insights in your astrology chart. Now, you do have to have a competent astrologer read it, um, and, you know, that that is something to consider, and not, not all people who call themselves astrologers are competent. I mean, I think that most of us who have studied and practiced a long time are competent, um, but you know, uh, okay, for example, if you have a friend who, who's just been studying a few years and wants to help you with that, that could be very helpful and might get you started in the right direction, uh, but it's not quite the same as having a reading with a competent astrologer, somebody who is more experienced. Uh, and, I, and I mentioned the number of years studying because uh, astrology is an art, but there's also a science to it, and there's certainly a technical aspect where one must learn it and one must do that through practice, and that simply takes time. Um, so if you can, if you're purchasing a reading at least, I mean, it's one thing if you have a friend who's giving it to you for free, that's completely different, and, and by all means, avail yourself of that if you have that. Um, but if you're actually going to purchase a session with a reading, uh, with a reader, a professional reader, uh, you know, I don't want to put an exact number on it, but maybe look for somebody who has, I mean, I would think at least uh, five years experience reading charts. I mean, heck, I studied astrology for, oh, nine years, I believe, before I started professionally. I studied in practice, in other words, not for many, for nine, nine, okay, nine years before I started reading charts professionally. So, uh, maybe it isn't just how long they've been in the profession, but, you know, you might uh, make an inquiry about how long they've been studying and practicing and actually reading charts, not just reading books, but reading charts, okay? Um, and that will help you uh, as, as someone who might be seeking out an astrologer to figure out who to go to. Although largely it's just who you have that rapport with, too. But they also need to know astrology. They need to know how to read your chart. Good. Okay, um, and you know, some astrologers are very technical and some are more intuitive like I am. I mean, I know the technical aspect, but I definitely use the chart as an intuitive lens. And that's helpful, you know, if an astrologer can do that. And there are some others uh, who can do that. It's, it's rare, but there are intuitive astrologers out there. And that's who I would go with if it were me. Uh, and it is actually who I do go with um, when I, you know, seek out to have my own chart read by another person, which is always a treat, by the way. I mean, just because I do this for a living and do it well doesn't mean I don't like to have my own reading sometimes. I am particular about who I let read my chart, but uh, as you should be as well. Uh, you know, a reading of any kind, but especially astrology, is very intimate. When you give a person your birth data and let them set up your chart and look at that, they are seeing into the window of your soul. It's a window into your soul. So that's something, again, that you should consider 
uh, deeply and be led and guided by your inner feeling on that, your intuition, your gut feeling. Um, but, you know, do make the decision and definitely do get that kind of reading if you're able to. Uh, because there's just no substitute for having your chart read by a competent astrologer and having them uh, delineate for you your life program as it is shown through the chart. And listen, I don't think, you know, that this is the only way you can come to know your destiny or your dharma or your karma. Uh, it's a very efficient way, though. Again, if you have this kind of reading that I'm talking about, whether it's with me or someone else who can do it well, um, you're just going to be amazed at how much can come through in one single session. I mean, it's probably going to be a long session, just so you know, but say an hour, an hour and a half, how much information you can get that will guide you on your path and, you know, just help to make life more uh, easy and efficient for you because if you don't know yourself and your soul energies and what, you know, why you're here and what motivates you and, and what, you know, you came here to enjoy and to express, if you don't know that, if you don't know your purpose, okay, uh, and then also your lessons, if you don't know that, then, you know, you're basically just going through life in the dark. And I don't know if you've noticed, but many people are just going through life in the dark. So really what I'm saying in this video is don't go through life in the dark. Whatever knowledge you need to seek out to help illuminate you as to your purpose here, as to your lessons and, you know, why you came here, what you're motivated by, all of that. Even your past life, some information on that. You need some of all of that to really make the most of your time here, I feel. Uh, and astrology happens to be a very efficient way to get that information, especially if you can hire somebody else to read that chart for you and don't have to spend 20 or 30 years studying it all yourself to figure it out. I mean, you can actually still hire somebody and study, uh, but it just takes a while with astrology to figure it out in depth on your own. It's going to take, you know, some study. Okay, so... Um, that's why, you know, I got my own astrology readings early on because I didn't want to wait until I'd studied, you know, 15 years or 20 years. I mean, I'm just going to go to another astrologer that's already done that, right? Makes sense. What can I say? I'm a practical Capricorn. <laughs> yes, I'm a Capricorn uh, with some Aquarian planets as well. All righty. Well, so if you can only get one reading, think astrology, life program, you know, natal chart, get that understanding about yourself. And that's definitely what I'd recommend. And of course, uh, all of the other readings that I offer, including my standard spiritual psyche, can be very helpful. Uh, so if astrology doesn't speak to you, you know, explore one of those readings instead, focusing on your purpose. Um, but just know that I will probably suggest that you get a astrology reading later on too, um, because I've seen what it can do for people and how it can help uh, lighten your path, illuminate the path before you. So on that note, thanks for tuning in to my Psychic Cynthia YouTube channel, and thanks for watching. And until next time, bright blessings.